Alicia Candy is from the Institute of Fundamental Sciences. Her thesis is Small Interaction, Big Impact. We all know what fungi are. We think of them as the creamy mushrooms we had at breakfast or that gross foot situation that won't go away. <laughs> but how many of us have thought of the impact that fungi have on a daily basis, especially on our plants? Fungi do interact with plants in two ways. There are the beneficial interactions that help and support plants grow. And there are the pathogenic interactions. These are the bad guys, which result in the destruction of not only your beloved veggie garden, but in one case, enough rice to feed 60 million people. In our ever-growing population, things like malnutrition and hunger are on the rise. While some of these causes are out of our control, I believe that by focusing on neutralizing pathogenic fungi, we can make a difference. The success of these pathogens is dependent on a small group of proteins called the NOx complex. This complex is turned on and off, and that ensures that the fungi operates normally. As soon as the fungi stops and this process doesn't happen, the fungi stops being pathogenic. The aim of my research is to figure out what causes this turning on and off of the NOx complex. And that brings me to my research. We hypothesize that this is controlled by the presence of specific proteins at the edge of the cell. Um, at the edge of the cell membrane. The cell membrane is made of several components. It is a dynamic barrier which separates the inside of the cell from the outside, kind of like how a wall surrounds and protects a city. You can think of a component called lipids as the rocks that make up this wall. And like there are many types of rocks, there are many types of lipids. We think that it is the presence of different types of lipids that cause the turning on and off of the NOx complex. But to know if lipids are involved, we first need to know which ones are even present. To do this, I'm using a cool technique. I have specially designed some fluorescent markers and put them into a fungus. Each marker is attracted to one specific lipid. When I make the lipid glow, the presence of that lipid can be visualized. It's kind of like I'm painting the city wall and each type of rock has a different color so I can see where they are. Once we understand this, we can set our sights higher, manipulating when this NOx complex, NOx complex is activated so that we can render pathogens harmless and prevent this loss of essential crops. Imagine the lives it could save. Alicia Candy, nice work. Judges. Okay, I'll, I'll have a go. Um, so, Alicia, well done. I really like the way in which you were so clear in describing the science uh, and then taking us through the journey of tracking these lipids and then relating that back to the industry application. So, really clear position. Uh, you're, you're really clear in terms of making the science um, easily communicated and well done. Really enjoyed listening to it. Thank you. Yes, thank you. I think the connection there with science, but also some social aspects around malnutrition, um, you know, the 60 million people, the, the stat there that you use. I have to say I was fascinated by your approach around this fluoresc fluorescent marker. Now, how that happens, I'm not entirely sure, but um, it, it just sounds like a logical way in which you can visually see uh, certain things that are happening as, as part of your research. So, um, very impressive. Thank you very much. A round of applause for Alicia Candy. Thank you, Alicia.